This video is a follow-up to the Onking Overhaul. Uh, it's the card type that I'm using, and I'll show you details about how you can tweak it for your own personal use. Okay, part two of this video, I'm going to show you the card types that I made. If you go into Add, it'll pull up this screen. Here's Onking Med, and there's Onking Sketchy, which is very similar, uh, only slightly different. Um, so this is what I use for the Pathoma decks, the other ones for all the Sketchy-related decks. Uh, now how you edit it is you go into cards and I'll pull this, make it a little bigger for you. Uh, I added a little timer that'll show up right here at the bottom. Uh, you can't actually see it if you're on night mode. Um, and that's what, I have a whole video on how to use this. So I'll link it in the description if you want to know how to use it. But like, here's how you set how long you want the timer to go before it notifies you that you're going too slow. So uh, watch that video if you need to learn how to use that. Here's the details on how to change the card stuff. I also have videos on this that I'll, I'll link if you want to learn more specifics about this. I did add this A feature here, which is the color of the hints fields right here. These are all hint fields. And then there's this hashtag tag and tags container. If you scroll to the bottom of the back template here, this, this stuff all right here. Um, below this last break that is what's showing this so I have this it shows me the tags if you were using the iOS version I have noticed it doesn't work very well you may want to delete all of this off your card types if you use that frequently I tend to use the computer more often so that's why I have it um, anyway so on to the hint stuff this is a really confusing stuff so here's the uh, closed deletion will show up on the back. The HR is what shows up as a line here. If you don't want that to be a line, change that to BR and it will just be a break. So I like to differentiate where the back of my cards are. Now there's a font color on all of these hints. You can see the hint there, hint there, hint there. I realize there's a ton of stuff. This thing right here, the way that is formatted is basically saying if there is information in the RXU world details, which there is, I put stuff there, then it will have a break between the lines. But if it's not, then you won't see like multiple like space uh, uh, lines between your extra stuff. So that's why that's there. It just makes it look prettier. But here's how you change the colors. As you can see, this is red. Uh, you could change it to blue. You could do whatever you wanted and it would change. Um, so there's those colors that you can change for that. Uh, and then this part right here is the color and style of the extra stuff. Uh, and that's really how that card works. Uh, now the closed sketchy deck is very similar. It has all of these spots, but instead of having all of these, these last two ones are first aid and the full sketch. I'm going to switch to that so I can show you. And there we go. Go to the cards so you can see. And I did, I put those behind the extra stuff just because I wasn't going to look at them as frequently and I made them smaller. Let's say you use the iOS version a lot and you want to um, make those bigger. Here I've got div class entire sketch style, which you got now you got to go up to the styling section here and find that entire sketch style. Here's where you can change the font size for this part of the card. Uh, I'm sorry that's confusing. I wish I was better at coding. That's just how it is. So that's how the card type works. Um, let me show you kind of what it looks like. Uh, let's see. Uh, if you're not on night mode, I have just put it at a default color. Just gray matches everything else. I did change this, as I said before, to a lighter blue. Uh, these are a lighter blue as well. And there's the tag container. One last part that I forgot here uh, on these card types. I had shown you previously how you could change all of this. If, however, you wanted to change the fields, uh, you can. And, uh, you know, I've named them as such. You can go in here and rename them. And every time I have done it, it will actually rename it down here as well for you. So you don't have to uh, change that. I'm not sure how it will work with these parts, uh, with that custom formatting with the breaks. Uh, they're not crucial. But just so you know, you can change the names of them. Uh, you could theoretically add other ones as well. You could add more. So, hope you like the card type. Thanks for learning with the Onking. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on all the new tips and tricks we have to share with you. Also, here's our email. Feel free to send us any and all questions and comments. We are here to help.